Find the component form of the vector v if the magnitude of vector v equals three square root three, and when drawn in standard position, vector v lies in quadrant two and makes a 45 degree angle with the positive y-axis, give exact answers. Because vector v makes a 45 degree angle with the positive y-axis in the second quadrant, this would be the vector v, where again, the angle formed here between the vector and the positive y-axis is 45 degrees, which means the angle in the standard position, if it starts along the positive x-axis and the terminal side is along the vector, is 135 degrees, 90 degrees plus 45 degrees. This is called the direction of the vector, which we label angle theta. And now to help us find the components of the vector, let's sketch the x and y components on the coordinate plane which will form a right triangle in the second quadrant, where here we have the x component or horizontal component, let's label this x, and here we have the vertical or y component. Let's label this y. And because the magnitude of the vector is three square root three, we know the length of the vector is three square root three, which would be the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Using this right triangle, where the reference angle is 45 degrees, we can set up equations for the sine and cosine of 135 degrees. The cosine of 135 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, or x divided by r, which is x divided by three square root three. We can solve for x by multiplying both sides by three square root three, which gives us x equals three square root three times cosine 135 degrees. And this x value is the x component of the given vector v. Similarly, sine 135 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, or y divided by r, which gives us y divided by three square root three. Solving for y, we have y equals three square root three times the sine of 135 degrees. So these values for x and y are the same values we get when we apply the definition shown here below, where if a vector v makes an angle theta with the positive x-axis, then the x component is equal to the magnitude of vector v times cosine theta, and the y component is equal to the magnitude of v times sine theta, where three square root three is the magnitude of the vector, and the angle theta is 135 degrees. Which means vector v has an x component of three square root three times cosine 135 degrees, and a y component of three square root three times sine 135 degrees. The next step is to find the exact trig function values. Well, notice how the reference angle is 45 degrees, so let's go ahead and sketch a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle in the second quadrant where we can label the two legs one and the hypotenuse square root two, but because we are in the second quadrant where x is negative, this leg would be negative. So we can use this reference triangle to determine the sine and cosine function values of theta equals 135 degrees. We could also find the trig function values on the unit circle, which we will also show. Notice that cosine 135 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is negative one divided by square root two. If we rationalize the denominator, we have negative square root two divided by two. And the sine of 135 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is one divided by square root two. Rationalizing, we have positive square root two divided by two. Let's also verify these using the unit circle. 135 degrees intersects the unit circle at this point here, where on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta, y equals sine theta. Cosine 135 degrees is negative square root two divided by two, and sine 135 degrees is square root two divided by two, which means vector v has an x component of three square root three times negative square root two divided by two, and a y component of three square root three times positive square root two divided by two. And now we just need to find the products. 
3 square root 3 times a negative square root 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 3 square root 6 divided by 2. And 3 square root 3 times positive square root 2 divided by 2 is positive 3 square root 6 divided by 2. And notice how we cannot simplify the 6 and the 2 because the 6 is under the square root and the 2 is not. And now we have the component form of the given vector v. I hope you found this helpful.